guys, so today's video is going to be on this blue glitter makeup look. I wore this in my May favorites and tons of you guys asked for a tutorial, so ask and you shall receive. When I sat down to do this makeup, I was focusing the whole look around the glitter and the contacts because I like playing with colored contacts once in a while, I think they're fun, and these contacts are like a gray blue color, and I don't often do makeup for blue eyes because my eyes are brown and I was like, what color would complement this? And I was looking through my makeup drawer and I had these glitters from Violet Voss. I've had them since iMats and I haven't even used them. And I'm like, these are gorgeous. Why have I not used these yet? So I decided to play with this blue and it's got little specks of green in it. It's from Violet Voss and it's called Raven. It's gorgeous. But make sure to let me know in the comments what you think of this look if you like it. And if you do, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already primed my eyes with Soft Ochre Paint Pot and now I'm taking Soft Brown Eyeshadow from MAC, dusting it in the crease back and forth. And then I'm gonna also add a little bit of Preppy from Makeup Geek, which is a more yellow tone than Soft Brown. So I'm mixing them together for my transition shade. The reason I put these two colors down first is because it's gonna blend our darker colors upwards and look more like a gradient. Now I'm taking the color Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette on a more dense brush and I'm going back and forth on the eye right below where we place the first brown shades and this is going to create even more definition because you want to go from your lightest color down to your darkest shade so this is going to help it fade even more. When you're applying this color just let your brush do the work. Feel the inner socket of your eye and just go back and forth. Now I'm taking a small pencil brush and the shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek. It's a black eyeshadow. I'm gonna start carving out the crease. I love that harsh cut crease when you're doing glitter because it really adds a lot of dimension because glitter is already a lot going on. So you wanna make sure you have that definition on your eye. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the brown that's left on my blending brush just to start blending out that black because black can get muddy and messy really quickly. So you wanna slowly build up this color. So after I've blended it, I'm gonna go back with the pencil brush and add even more black and then repeat the process and blend it out again. Taking a smaller blending brush, I'm adding some more sable right above the black. Now I'm going to take some glitter glue and apply it straight to my eyelid and then dip my brush inside of the glitter and pat all over the lid. You want to make sure you pat instead of swipe so it minimizes the amount of fallout so you don't have glitter everywhere because glitter is the herpes of makeup. You will literally find it weeks from now and you don't know where it comes from. Guarantee I'll find it on my face next week. Now I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. First apply the glue, then apply the glitter and make sure you get all the way up to that crease of your eye. Now we're gonna go back to the crease. I'm adding some more of that black shadow just to really define it. And with this kind of look, it's gonna look weird until we finish, but I promise when we're done, it will look beautiful. I want this line to be really harsh, not as blended as I usually do because I want it to stand out, kind of like a cut crease. And then I'm gonna go back to some more of that sable just to blend it out. Now you can go ahead and just clean up any fallout. I'm just using some makeup remover. And next is a liner and lashes. For my eyeliner, I used Inglot Gel Liner and also a little bit of NYC's liquid liner. I use the gel for my wing and the liquid more on my lash line. Now I'm gonna put on a pair of my favorite lashes. These are called Lashes in the City by Velour. I know you guys hear me use these a million times. And to apply, I always use my House of Lashes glue. It's by far my favorite and it's latex free so it doesn't irritate my eyes. Moving on to the face, I'm first gonna apply my favorite primer which is by Hourglass. This is the Mineral Veil. Perfect all year round but especially during summer. And then for my foundation, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear and my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. This foundation is perfect when your skin hates you. I've been breaking out like crazy lately, so I need something full coverage. And to apply, I'm using my favorite brush, which you guys know is the F80, and I'm just pushing it into the skin and kind of working in downward strokes as I push, but you don't wanna just swipe it on or it's gonna get a little bit streaky. For concealer, I'm going to mix two. I'm gonna take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer right underneath my eyes, and then the MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Light Boost right underneath that and 
any other areas I want to highlight on the face. And then to blend everything out, I'm using the Sigma F86 Taper Kabuki. I usually go between this and my Beauty Blender for concealer, but I have been loving this brush for the NARS concealer because the NARS concealer is a little bit thicker and sometimes the Beauty Blender doesn't blend it as well. So I have been loving this brush to blend out concealer. To set the concealer, I'm using my favorite under eye powder, which is by Hourglass. It's the diffused light ambient lighting powder, and it is pricey, but it's worth it. It just blurs your under eyes and your concealer lasts all day. For the waterline, I'm gonna take a little bit of this nude liner just in the very center of the eyes, and I'm using a brush to hold my eye down so I don't smudge the concealer. Now for the lower lash line, I'm taking the color Taupe from the Lorac Pro palette. This is just gonna add that cool toned shadow underneath the eye, and I think it looks beautiful with the blue. And I'm gonna go back to that Inglot Gel Liner and just kind of stamp where the lower lash line is, and it's gonna make your lower lashes look a little bit more defined, a little bit more prominent, and it really just makes the eyes pop, especially with the nude in the waterline. And then I'm gonna take that pencil brush and kind of blend it out as I go. And then don't forget to add mascara to your lower lashes. Now for some contouring, I'm taking this Bobbi Brown bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks and on the temples of my forehead, just the usual. And this is just gonna add a little bit of warmth to the face. For cheeks, I'm gonna start with this new Shimmer Souffle by Becca Cosmetics in the color Lychee Opal. I've been hounding my Sephora for them to get them and they finally got them in. And this is a pink mixed with gold and it kind of comes to like a peachy pink and it's beautiful for summer. I think this will be even more beautiful when you have a tan. And then right on top, I'm gonna add some of Coralista by Benefit just to set it and add a little bit more vibrancy. Now for that signature glow, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Beige, which I told you my May favorites is my boyfriend right now, pretty much. It is so beautiful, and it is just my favorite highlighter at the moment. It is gorgeous. I mean, look at that glow. Now for lips, I'm gonna start with my favorite lip liner, which is Stripped Down by MAC. It's the perfect neutral for any color. And then the lipstick I'm gonna apply on top is by Lime Crime, and this is in the color Coquette. I just got this in as well last week because I've been wanting it for a long time. And I was in one of those moods where I was just shopping online and I picked it up. And then on top, I'm gonna use the Honey Lip Lacquer from Bite Beauty in Dulcetto. And this is really thick, so I like to apply it in thin layers and kind of work it outwards. So here's the finished look with my natural eye color, which is brown. Any eye color can wear this eyeshadow, but I revolved it around the contacts to begin with, so I'm also gonna show you with these contacts. These are Creamy Beige by Desio. I got a lot of questions of which ones they are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun look. Let me know down below what you think, and I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.